All right, hello, I'm Mike Lyon with Your Music Magazine. Uh, today I'm here with Alyssa Kane. We're uh, in the Your Music Magazine home office. It's Thursday, April 8th. Alyssa will be participating in the Your Music Olympics April 23rd at Cypress Lounge. I want to thank our sponsors, Santa Cruz Rehearsal Studios, Specialty Garden Supply, Frenchies and Digital Studios, and Cali Hydro. I'm going to step off camera and ask Alyssa some questions. First off, um, you are a hip-hop artist, yes? Consider yourself? Yes, I would say hip-hop goes kind of a little range on it because I kind of try to throw in singing here and there and just a different vibe because I'm like a girl kind of, so it's not as hard, but... So you sing uh, some choruses type stuff? Yeah, Chorus definitely. Type? Okay, cool. Kind of. And then um, you write your own lyrics, I assume? Yeah, definitely write all my lyrics, get inspiration from a lot of different people, though, and just things that go on in life, you know, but... Okay. How long have you been writing lyrics? Um, when I was younger, I was like 13, and I would just do a lot of like poetry type stuff, and like for actual like song lyrics, I think I was like 15, 16, I started like getting beats and like writing like music, songs, you know. Okay, you start in uh, class, like school, or just kind of on your own? Yeah, just kind of on my own. It was like right when like Napster came out and the whole downloading thing. I remember I was trying to download some song and uh, I accidentally got just the instrumental version. And so I was like, oh, that's cool. And then I ended up like, had written some stuff and I like kind of went with it. I was like, alright. And people were like, oh, that's cool. I was like, alright. So I kind of just started off like that with the whole okay. like, getting the beats and doing that. Right. And then um, how do you get your beats now? Do you have someone that supplies them or? Yeah, there's just uh, there's a lot of good people in Santa Cruz, um, Love Life Music, and uh, man, there's a lot of people from just back in the day, and then uh, Castaway Beats, Scott Wilson, helped me out a lot, and uh, these days, though, I kind of just look on the internet and see what's out there. Most of my new stuff is from Nima Fadafi, he's, uh, right. he's cool, he's part of uh, Ineffable records to local yeah kind of yeah we have an uh, so. interview with ineffable yeah this month in the april issue oh there you go check yep. it out he'll probably be a part of that and um yeah just anyone if you got something good i'll uh i'll throw throw some lyrics on top of it cool <laughs> what do you write about uh just uh definitely different from what uh probably people are used to hearing because i have a different outlook like, mostly just uh life i guess kind of and uh what I've been through, how I go about situations and stuff, or how I would approach something. Kind of just having a lot of fun with it lately, try to tell some stories, you know, like... Whatever. What's the newest song you wrote? Uh, mm-hmm. newest song I wrote, it's uh, called Broken Glass, recorded at In Digital Studios. Um, really cool, I got a lot of good feedback from it. I played it at the Andre Nicotina show that I played, and got a lot of good response and feedback, and, uh... I got some new stuff I'm working on, but not recorded yet, so... So, Broken Glass, I was listening to that. Is that kind of like yeah. a glass ceiling? I, uh, I was getting that kind of feeling. Yeah. Uh, glass house, glass ceiling. Um, I don't know, you know, there's no, like, pinpoint metaphorical, because I, I leave it open for, you know, whatever it is to you and to every person, because for me, I was just going general with it, just, you know, feeling something that's fragile that can be broken, you know, but... So. Okay, what's it like being a woman in hip hop? Uh, it's definitely it's fun. It's kind of tough though because you know it's just there's stereotypes out there and, and stuff. People don't take you seriously. They take you seriously. What do you think? Sometimes, I mean, a lot of time you don't. But just like anybody else, you know, a lot of people just like no one in life. You're not going to get respect just right off the bat. You know, you got to come out there and bring something for anybody and anything really to give you something. So. I do feel that sometimes, but I just take it as, you know, whatever. It's just kind of like initiation type thing. So you got to step up? more concerned about stepping it up and just putting it down out there. So. Awesome. Cool. Is there any pros to it? you think uh, it helps in any ways, or is it pretty tough? As I get older, um, I think so, because um, it's kind of cool. I like it. You know, I can... Uh, I just feel there is some pros to it, you know, because it is something different people haven't seen before, so they're kind of interested at the catch of the eye, like, oh, it's a girl that's, you know, playing with all the guys and doing hip-hop music, so it's different, and I think it does kind of, you know, help me get a little... People get interested, and Interested they... a little more, probably, right. you know? Yeah. 
Right. And then um, you recorded it in Digital Studios. Did you record a CD or what did you... What, yeah, you... Um, I recorded one CD there so far. Uh, that was when I was like 16, probably got that out. What's it called? Um, I don't know, it was just titled AK. How many songs? It's initials. Um, I think there's like seven, six, seven tracks on it. Okay, so. available at... Uh, it's nowhere you have to come to me to get it. Well, there's oh. no more copies of that. At a so show, or I, there's no copies? Or? Well, at the show, you can uh, definitely get like a copy of something I'll give you. But uh, right now, I've just been in digital, just recording a bunch of stuff. I almost have a new CD ready to get out there with all that, like the Broken Glass song. And uh, there's a lot of other songs that are going to be thrown on it. So. It's going to be a full length? Yeah, I'm trying to yeah, think. Cool. It's like, uh, well, not full. Definitely, it was full like twelve or something. It's gonna be like yeah. It's gonna be like ten. An EP maybe five. Yeah, little, little under <laughs> in the between bar. an EP and a full length. <laughs> got any? What's got a title for yeah. it? Working title. Uh, title in progress. Where there's a couple out there. Uh, kind of still working with it. Gotta gotta have a. You know, it's kind of like sitting down in the studio, review all the songs, and it kind of comes together for me. I'm not trying to just throw something. Okay. You know, I want it yeah. to really, you know, make sense and go with the flow. So. And then when you perform live, do you perform with uh, other people? With, who do you perform with? No, it's usually just uh, always just me. I've had uh, times at the Catalyst and the Crow's Nest where I've had um, their DJs. They'll have like a, either a turntable or a digital turntable. Those are cool too. And they'll kind of like scratch behind me or do that kind of stuff. But mostly it's just me and the iPod. And then uh, sometimes I'll get people on a, a track or something, but... I'm trying to get more into that, just uh, getting together with different artists and doing yeah. more collaboration stuff, so that works out better. I have a lot of my own material, so okay. just kind of float that a lot. And then, uh, where do you like to perform? Some of your favorite places? Uh, the Catalyst is always cool. Yeah. You know, main stage, you made it there up, last year for the finals, your on music the main Olympics. Stage. I've been performing there since I was like 16 up there, so it's been a treat. How old are you now? That. To 21 years old now. How many? I'm sorry. 21. 21. <laughs> <laughs> of age. So, yeah, that's been really cool. It's a treat to have that in Santa Cruz, too. It's like a cool little nightclub right down there. So, it's fun. All right. Future dreams, goals? Dreams, goals, aspirations. Uh, I'd like to, like, go on a tour. That'd be cool. Been trying to do that. You know, find some cool band or... Or uh, hip hop people, you know, just kind of like hop on just to get a little traveling down and perform in a wide variety of places just all over. So that's awesome. definitely a future goal. And get that CD done finally. <laughs> there you go. So people can check you out at the Cypress Lounge on April 23rd. We've got yeah. uh, also that night will be Vibrant Iris, Eloquate, and Fubar. Should be a really good night. It's going to yeah. be awesome. Yeah, it's going to be cool. All right, well, thanks for coming out. Yeah. Appreciate your time. Yeah, and we'll talk to you soon.